Earlier this week, the Sultan of Oman was on a visit to Iran. Muscat has historically been the negotiator between the West and Tehran. It played a key role in inking the 2015 nuclear pact. And the visit at a time like this has stirred off the rumor mill on a possible revival of the controversial deal. New hope for the Iran nuclear deal may be on the cards, as the Sultan of Oman visits Tehran on his first visit since he took the throne. Haitam bin Tariq al Said arrived in Tehran on Sunday. In official terms, the focus of the visit was on regional diplomatic and security issues. It came just two days after Muscat mediated a prisoner swap between Iran and Belgium. Muscat has traditionally played mediator between Tehran and the West. It has also had a key role in facilitating relations between Iran and the Arab world. Oman is reportedly among the crucial players which oversaw the Iran-Saudi truce. The big visit, however, was clouded in secrecy. Iranian media said it was focused on bolstering economic cooperation between the two countries. There's also an eerie mum on Iran's nuclear program. Iranian media reports that the secret talks might have included possible revival of the deal. Even when the original deal was signed, Oman played the role of a mediator between Tehran and the US. The Sultanate was reported to have hosted secret U.S.-Iran talks ahead of the signing of the deal, known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action or JCPOA. The pact gave Iran relief from international sanctions in return for curbs on its nuclear program. While nuclear talks were missing from the readouts, there was development on the diplomatic front. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said he would welcome the resumption of diplomatic relations with Egypt. Ties between Tehran and Cairo had soured after the 1979 Islamic Revolution in Iran and Egypt's recognition of Israel, the Islamic Republic's sworn enemy. Speaking of Egypt, Cairo has agreed to restore full diplomatic relations with Ankara. The move follows a phone call from Egypt's President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to congratulate Turkish leader Recep Tayyip Erdogan on his election victory. The two leaders agreed to the exchange of ambassadors in the near future. These developments fall in line with sweeping shifts in West Asia, ones which followed the China-brokered truce between regional heavyweights Iran and Saudi Arabia. Normalization is the big word in the region. The world has its eyes on West Asia, keeping close watch on what happens when the storm eases and the dust settles. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.